So the next Reddit question is from Potato Burrito123. That's a classic name. I've never heard of anyone put potatoes in burritos before, but that's good. Um, but at, the question is, at what state in Cardano's development will we begin to see marketing of Cardano to the general public on a Mergle's end? So I think Florian was describing this before, that um, marketing is starting. Um, of course, it's an ongoing process. Florian, did you want to say something uh, regarding this question? Yeah, sure. Uh, this question is great because it gives me an opportunity also to, to get a message out there that I haven't, um, I haven't put out there so far. Um, my definition of marketing is actually extremely simple. Um, I believe that marketing is the right message delivered through the right channel to the right people at the right time with the right budget. So if you think in, of it in terms of a matrix, you've got five different categories. Uh, message, channel, target audience, budget, and time. If you can make sure that every single one of these categories has a green light for whatever marketing campaign you promote or for whatever project you engage in, then it's not 100% success uh, promise, but I would assume that you're you're pretty safe. It's already a very good start. So uh, people in the community might have noticed that the first thing that we really started to focus on was social media because it's easy to reach people all across the world and it's an easy way to get in touch directly with the, the people, the supporters who are relevant to what we do at this stage. Uh, eventually, we'll go towards more decentralization and we'll go towards more mainstream and eventually the message will change, the channels will change, and everything will be adapted. Um, so we will go towards more, more standard uh, advertising channels and, and marketing channels, but we're not quite there yet. Um, I can't also give you an exact uh, date at which it will happen, but I think it's safe to say that alongside the decentralization of Shelley uh, throughout 2019, we're going to see more of that traditional marketing, so to say, quote unquote, traditional marketing. Yeah, one thing I'd like to add to that also is I think Emergo right now is very active in the Telegram. I think everybody in the Telegram group knows about us, talks to us on a regular basis. I think we're very active on Twitter. You you might have noticed the Emergo handle is, is tweeting basically every day, always very good tweets, very good information. And we're very active on Reddit, where we've been sharing all the stuff we've been doing. And we're also increasingly active on YouTube. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, our marketing is, is very much uh, in progress. And uh, on all our platforms, we've had huge success, huge traction, and really good growth in the number of people that engage with us. So I think Emergo has started marketing. And in fact, uh, before Florian joined, uh, you had a lot of people ask, like, uh, when marketing? Uh, but these questions have basically disappeared, right? There's almost nobody that asks that anymore. And I think that's uh, definitely mostly in part thanks to Florian's team and their work. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. Rick, do you want to get the next question? Yeah, sure. And on, on that last question, I would like to say, I was glad, Florian, that you explained the marketing process and the priorities, you know, the right message at the right time with the right people, the right budget, because a lot of times I see a shotgun effect. I don't understand marketing and I'll see people say, Hey, do a Super Bowl commercial, sponsor a bobsled team, all these random things thrown out there. And it's like, oh, you, you can't just shotgun the entire planet Earth with information. It's going to cost too much money and it's going to distract people from the direction that you're trying to go. So I'm glad that you are in charge of marketing and not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, for example, a TV ad, uh, I don't know, maybe $20,000 or $50,000, a Super Bowl ad, maybe. 200,000, half a million for, for 30 seconds. Uh, you know, I can, I can run an entire department with that kind of money for a whole year. So it's a question, as you said, it's a question of priority and, and where can we have the, the biggest return on investment in the shorter time period, in the shortest time period. Yeah, and bang for the buck because a bunch of people drinking beer and eating pizza aren't going to be thinking, oh, crypto. That's not what they're thinking. <laughs> so. Well, hopefully, hopefully next year. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll ask Philippe who's his pick for the Super Bowl this year. So thank you, <laughs> Potato Burrito123. Thank you for the questions uh, to all our Reddit users. Our next one comes from Protoman86, and Protoman86 asks, it has been mentioned that Africa and developing nations are a major target for the Cardano ecosystem. In regards to marketing, what percentage of the focus will be on these markets versus more affluent established markets? That's a good question. Unfortunately, I won't again be able to give a, a very detailed figure. We just mentioned social media just now. I, 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 I chose to strategize around social media as a first step because the return on investment is quite good. Um, we can have a broad impact only with a few channels because by definition, social media is also decentralized. Users are, are everywhere. So it's, it's, it's hard to say. If we tweet something, anyone on the face of the earth can have access to it. Um, and then it'll be up to local communities to really pick that information and, and start to do something with it. For example, the, the meetups, uh, all the offline events, all the offline communities that are organizing themselves. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard for me to give, a, to give a, a detailed figure as an answer to that one. Uh, what I can say is that I'll definitely personally be be pushing for a lot of that because again it, it, it's in line with my personal mission. I'd rather we go and help uh, startups in Africa and Southeast Asia than we go on the large uh, stock exchanges like on a personal level I'm, I'm more excited to do that kind of stuff. I think it's more meaningful um, so yeah, maybe I, I can't give a detailed figure, but we'll, we'll definitely do, do both. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. And I like to hear the sound of that. Um, you know, Cardano is, it's not all about, um, and like you're saying, you'd rather stay away from Wall Street and I mean, they'll come eventually, but helping the unbanked is one of the tenants behind Cardano and bringing yeah. in those three plus billion people into the financial stack of the new world. Mm. It's going to benefit everyone long term. You know, you mm. don't see it now, but it will benefit. There's a, half the world is just not involved with the world, mm. if that mm. makes any sense. So um, I think that's great. Um, yeah. So quick question. Next question. Um, we have a few more questions. This one comes from Mindful Trader, and this is Nostradamus. So Nostradamus, thanks for the question. And the question is, 7 billion people are not aware of crypto. If you talk about tech or spec in your marketing strategy, you will miss 95% of the target. So my question is, when 30, 60, 90 second video commercial ads that explains an issue and how Ada will solve it? Not talking about expensive TV campaign, but videos that we can share to the, and post to the internet for free. You do not, you just need to spend a few fiat and hire a company that TV ads is their main job. Don't do that in Mergo homemade because previous videos were awful. <laughs> Yodoi video ad looks so cheap. Nostradamus. Thanks for the great question, Nostradamus. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to respond to that question. Yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, I think, I think that person makes a good point. Um, we do need shorter clips that are more down to earth and extremely easy to understand. I, I, I cannot deny that, and it's something that we've started. Um, I'd love to talk more to that person as well, because he mentions that we should find an uh, ad agency to do the video, but then, uh, I mean, I, I'd love, please get in touch with me. I, I'd like to talk more about this, Nostradamus. Um, another item that I can point out is that not only did we hire a social media manager, but we're now also looking at hiring more specific profiles for every single channel. And so again, just now in your question, you, you mentioned uh, putting very simple, straightforward, down-to-earth videos. We're working with someone who's an ex-founder uh, who's been working for eight years in his own uh, startup in China that is a specialist in go-to market content. And he's especially keen on working for, on working on YouTube for our, our, our marketing. So videos like the ones you mentioned will be coming out very soon. Um, so please stay tuned. But we, won't, we probably won't see any 30 second uh, ad clip on national TV for a little while because again, that's not 
where the industry is at right now, I feel. Um, and I'd rather do other stuff with that money uh, for the time being. 